start wrapping up our discussion, though, our, uh, joining us this morning has been Chaos, is the name I'm giving Skumba this morning, because we are a highly respected show. Uh, here on ENC, okay. then you've walked in uh, like you direct traffic at a four-way stop in the morning, and then you've been causing chaos ever since. But before we say goodbye to you as well, just one more time from Chef Lorato Alessiamo. I see one more dish, and yes. I'm seeing There's green more. things. There's more. We, we don't feed you meal. properly on this. Precoce meal. Hmm? Okay. For breakfast. Do you not want the breakfast? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I will never say no to food. Never. Just very quickly, what have we got here? We have a herby mash uh, with some parmesan in there. Mm. We have some broccoli and we have a pan seared um, duck breast, and which I will drizzle with some um, an orange sauce or jus. Rather to say, yes. And while you're doing that, Chef, that's okay. Well, you, can, you can bring it on as soon as you're mm -hmm. done with that, Chef. You can walk right onto set for us. A couple of tweets uh, coming through for you, Skumba. First of all, uh, this is from Nolene. I'm going to just read through a few of them. Mm. Uh, I'm enjoying the banter this morning. Maybe Skumba should be a regular. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you, before you laugh, he's bringing out the sharp wit in Gareth. Thank you, Nolene. In fact, I think Gareth yeah. is funnier than Skumba. Thank you, Nolene. No, she didn't say that. <laughs> she didn't say that last. You I'll join that. ENC I, when I'm Pradhan retires. Edit, as I'm going here as well. I will join uh, ENC when Pradhan retires. Pradhan is still here. Then you are never going to join ENC. <laughs> Bra, Bradan is a legend. Leave him alone. Don't touch our Bradan. You leave him alone. Don't Pradhan? go near him. Ah, legend, that's one. Yeah. The other one, uh, oh, Shumba. No, you can go on in, Chef. Thank you. Uh, ah. Shumba should be a regular on the show already. What I like about his jokes is they're always on touch with current affairs, always up to date. Big ups. Uh, Thank Shumba you very much. Thank well. you very that much. Was, I want to give the name. I'm very rude. Uh, that's from Brian Mguni. And I think I have one more. One more. I uh, can't find this one here. Oh, uh, at both of us, Tumza, you and I, yeah. uh, from Inkani, yes. uh, Lady underscore Kanyi. Uh, the South African morning should be like this. Uh, should be a Friday every day. Yeah. I'm so happy. So thank you. Actually, yes. probably, you know, really good to have you with us. Always miss on 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 having maybe a a stand-up comedian. Mm. It's the light that they bring to into people have people are going through a lot, man. A lot. People are going through a lot, yeah. whether financially, emotionally, and everything else. Mm -hmm. The last thing we want to do is be serious every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I I try and bring every time I get an opportunity, whether it be on radio, TV, or stand-up comedy. Yeah. Always make people. When they leave, like, oh, that was a great session. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Suba, your most important Ah, some more flowers theme. for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get my question in no. and leave the flowers alone? <laughs> Jeez, I waited through the comments, the tweets. <laughs> Your most important role, fatherhood, right? Yeah. Because I know you speak so highly of your kids. I mean, yeah. how, how do you keep the family entertained, having fun? Also, when you're going through a lot, uh, like we all did during COVID, uh, how were you, of course, uh, the men of the household, making sure that <clears throat> everyone's mental health is together, we're happy and we're focused? I think, I think uh, with COVID, it has made people to stay home. And yeah. I think I've been on the road for quite some time. And I haven't seen my kids grow in front of me. Because mm. I leave home in the morning, come back late. Yeah. Mm. So we, 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 the time we get over the weekend is that I have shows or take them to Gold River City. But that's not, that's not quality time. You don't know what they like. You don't know what they don't like. Right now, they're growing in front of me. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's, it's not a great sight, man. Yeah. Are, are you a comedian now, to them? Are you Kumba to I'm them? I'm tired of these kids. Well, let's just be honest, man. <laughs> I'm tired of these kids. <laughs> what? I have a, a four-year-old. 11 year old and a 14 year old. Mm. Three different stages of kids. Which is the toughest? The four year old. Because mm. the four year old goes to a white school and he speaks English for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason for him to say. <laughs> you know what he said to me the other day? True story. He said to me, I said to him, hey, open the TV. He's like, how? Mm. I'm like, what do you mean, how? Because you understand what I'm saying. Mm. And everyone said, yeah. understand yeah. what I'm like saying. How? He says, no, you don't open the TV, yeah. you switch it on. I'm, oh. like, <laughs> I'm like, listen oh. here, okay, this is my house. Yeah, well, <laughs> you don't switch on nothing in my house. You open. You open. <laughs> and after you watch whatever you want to watch, you must close my TV. <laughs> me, me and him are not in good terms right now. So you're getting schooled by a four-year-old. Imagine. You're getting schooled by a four-year-old. Are, are you the funny parent, though, or is there a serious side of you? So when, when you go, okay. I'm strict, eh? Are you? I'm strict. I think I take it from my mom. My mom, my mom is a strict parent. I'm strict, but at the same time, I'm fun. Yeah. So it's not like when kids, my kids see me, they're like, oh, he's here. No, they're like, ah, oh, daddy. 
Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, school shoes. Are they clean? Ah, daddy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not, so we need to do what we need to do for us to be happy and have a great time at home. And I enjoyed this so much. I don't want to go. I don't want to go either. I'm I think so we are going to try and get you, you back. Like I think. 30 minutes of your show. Yeah, actually, you should oh, be able every, yeah. Friday, every, every couple of Fridays. We should negotiate with them, Fundo. <laughs> yeah. It's time for News Link. Okay. To actually, see if we can't steal some time, time from some her. Time. But so shame, I, I, our poor chefs using, are going to get abused. Are using the same fork of, of, with the, of the prawns for, for the mesh? Use yes. the same fork. We didn't say we're that classy. We said we're going to give you breakfast. <laughs> now, just before you take a bite of the duck and the mash, uh, you have to do one more thing for us sure. because we're quite hungry because you made us talk the whole time. Uh, can you please take us to the weather forecast? Camera two, red light. <laughs> Camera two. Hey, Shabunjan, welcome to, what is the name of this show? Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> This is the weather. If you are in Devon, it's hot as you, see, as, as, as you saw. What about Limpopo? With the 20 people that you arrested yesterday that we did criminal, criminality last year. And if you're in Joburg, ni nice and sunny. If you're in Kimberley, we don't know about your weather. You guys stole everything. We don't even know. Where's the big hole? Where's the round hole? Uh, <laughs> I've got a request for Limpopo. Oh, Limpopo. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing about you. I still <laughs> want my life. <laughs>